Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, welcome back to Star Wars Kinnigans of the Old Republic for what may be the final episode. We don't really know yet. It's going to be touch and go on the timing. Um, previously, we got marooned on the unknown world when we went to go find the Star Forge. Oh, yes, that's right. I left us off with this nice scenic overlook. We met some aliens, the Rakata. We met one tribe of them who seemed to be kind of a bunch of jerks, really, to be honest with you. They want us to go and kill another tribe called the Elders. And we're pretty much on our way to go and find said Elders, meet them, and see what they're about. You can probably guarantee they're going to be the nice, friendly guys because this is Night Shield Republic and everything is, like, completely opposite binary moral choices. Light side and dark side. Good guys, bad guys. So... Hello, Guzka. Um, temple exterior. Let's let's try. Let's check this place out first. Wild rancors. Very good. Would you wild rancors like? Uh, well, actually, I was going to throw a grenade at you, but I should probably like, you know, buff a little. Alright, uh, let's queue that up. Candace can just do whatever. Jolie! 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 Jolie, I need you to stasis field these. What? Beasties. Yeah. Oh my god, I forgot we gave Jolie an orange lightsaber. That was a bit of a, a surprise then when he when he when he drew that. I was like, what the heck? But yeah, we got we got the special lightsaber crystals, what? so Jolie's got orange on her. Yeah. Turquoisey blue. There's more. What? Yes. Oh, oh we've sort of abandoned Pilo, haven't we? That's not very good. <laughs> not that he seems to need any help. Ah, that hurt, I bet. Oh wait, no. Okay, yeah, no. Ah. I, I thought he'd killed that rank off for a second there, but he hadn't. These guys are really loud, aren't they? Like, is it just me, or do these rancors death noises absolutely deafen anyone else watching right now? They are very loud, yeah. Okay, it's not just me then. I like to think that's what Colin thinks he sounds like when he meows at me. Has Pilo just gone down? He has, hasn't he? Oh, brilliant. Stasis field. Like the MGM logo, yes. <laughs> God, look at that ridiculous LucasAid lightsaber. Yes. Not a fan, but I am a fan of the ridiculous stat bonus it gives, so. United Defensive Cutscene Volume. <laughs> I think part of the problem is some games are like this. I noticed it when I was playtesting um, Medal of Honor Pacific Assault last night. Um, some games, when you go into the... Uh, particularly, this, I've noticed this happens an awful lot with older games. When you go into the um, the audio options and you turn the sliders down in the actual game itself, some sounds in the game, whether it's cutscene volume or maybe just random sound effects like the Rancors, they kind of get exempted by the sliders and end up being way louder than the rest of the game. And the only solution to that is actually to just open up your volume mixer in Windows and lower the entire game volume in there instead. And I think the Rancor death noises are probably an example of that weird quirk of just janky ass old early 2000s games. Save. I just did, didn't I? Oh, there's a 
funky force field of the temple. So presumably we're not getting in there, but maybe I should walk up there just in case it triggers some sort of discussion or encounter. There's a powerful energy shield that prevents you from passing. Yep. Is chat being invisible still a feature? Yeah, I've turned off chat on screen and all the notifications and whatnot recently because we had some difficulty with trolls in a previous stream not so long ago and I haven't turned on any of the stuff yet again um, partially due to laziness and partially also just because of well, I feel like I now it's turned off, I don't miss it as much as I thought I would oh, hello Mandalorian scumbags Master Valor Stasi's field, please. More than one would be nice, actually. Yeah. I don't uh, feel I this. Okay. this is what I live for. Did you do it, Jolie? Come on. We just got a journal entry. I'm not sure why. What you doing, Candace? Yeah. Oh, the captain's dead. Okay, good. Wes? Why? Is this some sort of funky grenade effect here that's preventing me from using any of my force powers? Yeah. What's the deal with that? We're about to get party wiped, I feel like. Candorous. I need you. Oh, uh, just keeps. We just keep getting stunned by this bullshit. Oh, can you tell we're in the end game, ladies and gentlemen? The game is just throwing every little little ounce of horseshit it can at us. Luckily, we have a Candorous. Haha, <laughs> nice try. Kandros is going to just solo all the Mandos. This would be amazing if he does manage it. Eating up all the high grade meds, yeah I know, but fuck it. We can't save literally every resource in the game just for the final boss fight. We've got to use some of them. <laughs> well done, Kandros. Hmm. Yes? Fantastic stuff. This is why I always take him, ladies and gentlemen. This is why Candorous is a permanent fixture in the party most of the time. Mando assault armor and a Mando head. I'm assuming the Mando head's for a side quest. What? Would you like this assault armor, though, sir? I assume it's an improvement. Be funny if it wasn't, frankly. Yeah. Toads. Toads bigger. Oh, it has a helmet! Yes, sure. We now have helmeted Candorous. Alright then. Huh? <laughs> what? There we go. All healed up. It is not gold! I know, I know. I was kind of expecting it based on the thumbnail image. I thought it would just be like the helmetless version, but in gold. That would have been really nice, but never mind. Now he just looks like we're in another Mandalorian mook. It's going to get confusing if we have to fight any more of these guys. Right. Anywhere else we can go from here? This, this 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 bit here, this bit of the level, looking out of the ocean and just the particular style of like graphical fidelity and the skybox and these palm trees, it's totally reminding me of Wake Island in Battlefield 1942. Half expecting to see a little landing craft come sailing along there. Right, okay. 
Okay. That's fun in multiplayer. I'll tell you a secret. You can still play Battlefield 1942 multiplayer. It's still a thing. You There is a community patch you need to download and install. But once you've done that, you can play your old copy of Battlefield 1942 online. It will work on Windows 11 or whatever your most modern operating system is. And you can play it multiplayer. And it's still really good. EA doesn't want you to know this, but yeah. Okay then. Where are Gizka native to canonically? Good question. I don't know, they're like rancors, aren't they? They seem to get everywhere. Can you still buy it? You will have to either, well, yeah, you'll have to like buy a box copy off of eBay. And there are quite a few out there. Get the World War II collection if you can, because that includes both the expansions. Um, or alternatively, you, you'll have to seek alternative means of acquiring the game. Because I do not believe it can be purchased digitally these days. It, it was available for free for a while on, on Origin. Back before it was called, back when it was called Origin and not like the EA store or whatever. Um, ow. Right, we got some ship parts. You streamed some Battlefield 1942 not too long ago. Yes, indeed I did. We did a few Battlefield 1942 streams and it was a good laugh. I, I played it single player with bots, of course, but... Um... Oh, a little, little ranker. Hello. All by yourself. Oh my god. Just demolishing this poor guy. Shouldn't get cocky though. That Rancor nearly absolutely, absolutely bodied me there when I went into him without any buffs. Might need, I need force armor. Force armor is important. Not that I don't do enough damage. It's more that I just keep getting walloped. This cannon is a little too glassy. All right, this looks like the place we need to be at. Settlement entrance. Okay, well, there's a fancy force field here. Oh, okay, if we just walk close enough, a cutscene will happen. Good enough. You are not Rakata. What is your business here, off-wilder? Uh... Who are you? We are the elders, and you will answer our question. Who are you, and why have you come? Well, let's tell them the truth. I am Revan. You, you are Revan. The council wishes to speak with you. You may enter. We of the Elder Council do not expect to see you again. We thought you had betrayed us. Why have you returned to our village after all this time? Uh... I spoke to you once before. What did I want? This is some kind of test, Revan? Some type of trick? You came seeking our aid. You came in search of a way to enter the Temple of the Ancients. You claimed to be seeking a way to destroy the Star Forge. We were foolish enough to believe you. Unaware of your true nature, we helped you enter the Temple. But you betrayed us, Revan. Instead of destroying the terrible legacy of our ancestors, you unleashed the evil of the Star Forge upon an unsuspecting galaxy. And now you stand before the Council of Elders once more. And once more, we ask you, for what reason have you returned, Revan? Uh, I, I need to get into the temple so I can destroy the Star Forge. I mean it this time for reals, honest. Yeah, I'm sorry, I have no memory of our last meeting. Do you think we are fools, Revan? Do you think we've forgotten how you lied to us the last time? We should believe you now? My mind was destroyed. All my memories were lost. It changed me. I am not who I once was. 
They say the experiences of our past define us and make us what we are. If it is true that you have lost your memories, then perhaps you are changed. But how are we to know this is not some trick, Revan? Okay, now. we got options. I'm a servant of the light now. I want to make amends for the mistakes of the past. The part of me that was Revan is dead. I'm now Warm Polo. Persuade all that slash lie. I regret the mistakes of my past. I want to make amends. <laughs> Enough of this. I am the Dark Lord Reborn. Bow before me. Or I see this is going nowhere. I'll just kill you instead. I'm a servant of the light now. A servant of the light. I don't like that. I don't like that. That doesn't feel in very in keeping with, with, po with Polo's character to say something like that. I'm a servant of the light. Mm, servant. We're not. We're not servant of the light. The part of me that was Revan is dead. Now I am one Polo. Fuck. You say you are not who you once were, but you are, yet you are here on our world, you repeat the pattern of your last visit. Like the last time you've crashed here, like the last time you've come seeking our help. How have you changed, Revan? Okay. Well, the one wanted me to kill you, but I have come here peacefully. Again, you are only repeating the patterns from before. You know we hold the secret of entering the temple. That is why you do not attack us. You come in the guise of a friend, but how do we know you are not going to betray us again? I cannot prove what is in my heart. I only ask that you judge me by my actions. We sense you mean the words you speak. I feel like I was being railroaded big time here. But the words are easy to say. It's actions that prove the true nature of your character. You must prove to us by doing a side quest, no doubt, that you are the, not the same Rev as you once were, Revan. You must prove that you have changed. Uh, how can I prove that? Recently, several of our scouts were captured by the one. Most of them were brutally slaughtered, but we have information that one of the scouts is still alive. They will use unimaginable tortures to force the scout to reveal anything he knows about our tribe. And once the, scout, the, once the one is done with him, the scout will be executed like the others. You must prove that you have truly changed by risking your own life to save another. Rescue our scout from the clutches of the one, and we will consider helping you. Maybe I can negotiate with the one to release your hostage? We prefer it if you could find some way to save the prisoner without bloodshed, but we don't believe that will be possible. The one does not like to negotiate. So if I save the prisoner, you'll help me. Risking your life to save the prisoner would show us that you are sincere without, about making amends for the past. Okay, I'll help you, but I have some questions. We will tell you what we can, Riven. I have questions about you, your tribe, your history, the temple. You should speak to Osra, the Keeper of History. He's located near the Great Computer on the far side of our enclave. But I will do my best to answer your questions. Oh boy. How ready am I for another huge lore dump? It's been a long day and I don't know how if I have it in me to read out quite this much dialogue. I might have to be a little selective here. Can you tell me about the Starforge? The Starforge is a blight upon our world, an orbiting symbol of the failures and horrors of our past. We have long searched for a way to destroy it, and now you've finally given us that chance. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Osra, the Keeper of History. Okay. What do you know about the Temple of the Ancients? The temple is a sacred place, but also a place of great danger. Within its walls, the terrible secrets of our ancestors have been locked away. We ourselves can no longer enter the temple, Revan. We do not have the power of the Force, but you can enter, with our help. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Osra, the Keeper of the History. Me, 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 me. Um, okay, what do you know about the other Ricardo here, the other guys? There is only one other group of Rakash on this island, the Tribe of the One. They would slaughter us if they could, hoping to unlock the secrets hidden away in the temple. Uh, but don't you have the technology to destroy the One? We have the technology to destroy the One and his followers, but if we kill them all, then we will only prove that we have learned nothing over the past 20,000 years. 
We tried to negotiate with them. We sent emissaries out under a flag or truce. Of truce, I should say, when the one first arrived on our island, but this, but all our envoys were brutally slaughtered. The one is mad with power. We choose not to fight him, so our only course of action is to stay here in isolation where we are safe, just as we have done for the past 20,000 years. If you wish to know more about this, you should speak to Oswald to keep it. No, 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 no. All right, I'll be back after I rescue that prisoner. The prisoner is being held in the chamber of the one himself. He'll return to us once he is free. Until then, you have free run of our enclave. Yeah, we actually saw him earlier. When we were in that area. He was locked away in one of the cages in the arena. Very similar looking layout to the sand people enclave, isn't it? But I suppose, in a way... That makes a weird sort of sense, knowing what I know about the Sand People backstory in this game. We never really got to that, did we? Because I never gave the Crate Dragon Pearl to the Sand People Chieftain, so we never got to hear all the Sand People lore, but I know about it from previous playthroughs. Hello. Researcher Lawa. You've returned at last, Raven. I was beginning to wonder what happened to you in the temple. What are you doing? What am I doing? You mean the purpose of my research here? Yeah, what is your research? As you may have heard from our historians, in our distant past we mel melded technology and force to create truly wondrous uh, effects. We guided ships across the galaxy using our power and incorporated its use into all aspects of our society. But something happened somewhere. What happened? There are a variety of theories on what happened. Perhaps we became immune to the effects of the force from overuse. Perhaps our breeding habits rendered our species insensitive to it over, ti over, over time. None truly know. The only discernible result was that we could no longer command the force as we had. Its power had escaped us. With its loss, our technologies could no longer hold us as, as far above the subjugated races we ruled, and our empire began to crumble. The races we subjugated rose up, plague swept our worlds, we could do nothing against all of these calamities. In the end, only the members of our race left here on our homeworld survived. And that guy stuck in that box, of course, that we found. No Ricarta can use the Force. Every once in a while, there is an individual born who has an affinity for the Force. Maybe not the ability to use it directly, but at least the ability to remain open to it. I believe this is a sign that whatever goes, whatever genes our species had that gave us the ability to use the Force are not completely gone. Perhaps when the ancestors of the current tribes fled beneath the surface, some retained this trait. We have been working for the years to isolate this gene in an attempt to resurrect it in our species as well. We of the Elders do not have Force sensitivity ourselves, but by harnessing the genetic structure of other tribes, we hope to be able to breed the gene back into our species. You're capturing prisoners for their genes? They make us seem like monsters. Truly we are not. We capture them, yes, but only because the tribes have become extremely xenophobic and they're millennia trapped on this world. They do not aid us willingly and killed our messengers when we asked. We believe that if we get a large enough genetic sample, we can reintroduce the recessive force sensitive genes back into our people, allowing us to once again access the heritage of our past. Heritage? You mean the temple? Wait, you're trying to restore your empire, aren't you? No! We do not want to fall down the path that so twisted our people before. This time, perhaps we can redeem ourselves in the eyes of the galaxy and become a force of good. Well, I suppose we can relate to that, can't we? Um, how close are you to finishing your research? We are quite far along, having had centuries to work already, but with the arrival of another tribe on our island, we have been restricted in our movements to just our enclave. We've captured a few of their warriors, but the one that really interests is their leader, the one. The one? What's special about him? Those with the genes we seek seem to be marked, marked with a destiny that causes them to rise above others as we did as a species early on. In hearing the stories his warriors tell of the one, we believe that he may hold some of the genes we seek. He may be nearing force sensitivity. Unfortunately, he and his people are much too aggressive and violent for us to ever get close enough to study him. His corpse would not do, not do either, as only a living working body is of use to us. 
Maybe in time, though, the differences between our peoples will lessen enough we may study one another and gain the information we need. What kind of information do you need? Genetic data on drifts and changes over the many millennia we've been here. Specific data on exceptional individuals. If only we had access to the knowledge of our ancestors, they must have known much, much more than us. They had a much greater population sample to work with. I believe that in the temple here there may be the information we seek, perhaps in old archives or scrolls, maybe even in an ancient computer if it is still functioning. This information would help us greatly in our work and we sh would be very grateful to you for it. Is there anything else I can help you with? Right. I'm, I'm, I'm off. Toodle pip. Bye. No one else to talk to here. Just researches, aren't you? Um, I was trying to talk to the warrior, but not not the not activate the cage, but it won't really let me. Okay. You uh, you guys having fun in here, doing your your meditating or your praying or whatever it is. Wait a minute. Okay, no, we've not come back to the start. This is just the other side. Hello, everybody. Keeper Ozra and the computer room. Okay. Greetings once again, Revan. I'm glad that you have returned. I couldn't believe that you had betrayed us, despite what the council said. Um. Uh, I'm sorry, I don't remember you. My name is Orsa. I am the keeper of history for the elders. The last time you were here, you had many questions for me. The council told us of all the destruction of your memories, but still I had hoped you might recall something of our past discussion. I wish I could remember. I was look on the bright side, we can have all those discussions again. I'd rather not, though, because I don't want to have to read it all out. Why do these guys have to be aliens? Why why can't they just speak English? Damn it, Bioware. Damn it, damn you in your corner cutting in the final act of the game. Ugh. Uh, I wish I could remember, but I don't, sorry. There's no need to apologize. It just pains me to know that all you had learned from me has been forgotten. Still, I would be happy to instruct you again. Actually, I do have a few questions for you. Yes, of course. Although you must forgive me if some of this starts to seem familiar. After all, we did go into the history of the Rakata at some length the last time you were here. Uh, I will do my best to enlighten you with the knowledge I hold. What subject do you wish to learn about? Can you tell me about the Star Forge? Much of our knowledge of the Star Forge is lost. It was built during the height of the Infinite Empire long ago. All we know now is that it casts a terrible shadow across our world. We elders have longed to destroy the Star Forge for many generations to cleanse ourselves of its evil presence. But we have neither the knowledge nor the capability. When you and Malak came here, we saw you as saviors. We let you into the temple so you could destroy the Star Forge, but instead you harnessed its dark power for yourselves. You awakened a dormant evil. Your fleet helped spread the corruption of the Star Forge throughout the galaxy. And now you return as our last hope to stop what you once started. Do you know how to disable the disruptor field that caused my ship to crash? The disruptor field is one of the ancient defenses of the Star Forge. A great generator within the Temple of the Ancients fuels it. You'll have to enter the temple to disable it. Okay. Uh, what do you know about the temple? The temple is a sacred place of terrible secrets. All the dark mysteries of the Rakata are housed within its stone walls, which pulse with the living power of the ancients. Only those who can command this power, what you call the Force, can enter the temple. Many centuries ago, there were still a few among us who could pass within its walls. But in the living shadow of the temple, 
But living in the shadow of the temple, rather, we became desensitized to this power. As you yourself said the last time you were here, the we elders are no longer force sensitive. Can any of the Rakata enter the temple? None of the Rakata can control this force now, but long ago there were those who could pass through the barrier. Our ancestors created the energy shield around the building as a second line of defense, but the energy shield was created using technology within the temple itself. Once we helped you and Malak get to, to get past the barrier, you discovered a way to lower the shields at will from within the temple itself. After this, you had no further need of us. The once hallowed ground of the temple is now overrun with the followers of Malak who can command the force, those that you call the Dark Jedi. Okay. How did the Rakata Empire collapse? Long ago, the Rakata ruled all the known galaxy, all the species bound down to us, but we were a corrupt people, and in our fall from glory, there are terrible lessons that must be learned. The Infinite Empire was built on slaughter. It was inevitable it should collapse upon itself. War, plague, and slave rebellion forced us to retreat back here to our hidden homeworld. Here, conflict among power-hungry warlords escalated into full civil war. Terrible weapons of mass destruction were unleashed, driving most of the Rakata far beneath the Earth's shelter. The devastation ravaged the world. Our people were scattered, our cities leveled, our very existence all but erased. The glory of the Infinite Empire is now nothing but dust and bones. In the past few thousand years, small bands of Rakata have begun to return to the surface, but they are primitive and superstitious creatures. Only we elders remember anything of the true past. Well, seems strictly speaking true. The, uh, the 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 storyteller dude in the other camp actually did seem to have a pretty good grasp of what happened. It was just a lot of it couched in sort of mythology. Um, they're not dark Jedi. They're edgy Jedi. <laughs> Yeah, this place doesn't really look that devastated. I, I mean, I, I like to think that maybe we're we're on a few, like, isolated islands that are some of maybe the few inhabitable places on the planet left. Potentially. But it has, as, as Django points out, it has been 20,000 years, so... It's been quite a while. Weren't there, like, huge ruins in the background? <laughs> yeah, there was, like, some blurry stuff in the background in the skybox that I couldn't tell if it was, like, like a crashed ship or, like, maybe the Star Forge in orbit or something. Oh, my God. Make sure you read all of that dialogue option there. I saw thanks for the information and almost clicked on it and then realized in the second half... Guess I can kill you now. I have to go. Yes, of course. You have much to do and little enough time to do it. But if you ever have any questions for me, I'll be happy to try and answer them. If I were not streaming, good sir, and if I hadn't promised my viewers that I would read out all of the alien dialogue, I would totally sit here with you and exhaust every single dialogue option because I find the Ricarta lore actually kind of cool. I like I I love, I really like the Star Wars sort of old republic setting. I mean up to a point like like up to the end of Kotor 2 because I I don't really know much about the MMO and some bits of it I I've heard about kind of seem a little bit silly like the eternal emperor or whatever he is who retcon gets retconned to be the reason why Revan turned to the dark side or some bullshit like that. Um that stuff all sounds really stupid and silly but um I like the um I like all the I like all the Old Republic lore that goes right up to the end of KOTOR 2. Um, all that shit's really cool and interesting and good. I have the, um, the Star Wars Ultimate Guide to Warfare book on my shelf, um, and all of the, like, pre-Republic and Old Republic bits in that book are all just really darn cool. I'm going to rob the wicker bin. Even the Elders must pay Jedi tax. This is the way. A Candorous. <laughs> you 
your first encounter with the Ricarta was in a comic. It's cool to see them in this game afterwards. So, okay, so that's interesting, because I, I, I actually assumed that the Ricarta were a Bioware invention. But... I don't know why I assumed that. I guess because they just remind me a lot of the bloody... Lizard men from Neverwinter Nights. Not lizard men, but like the weird reptilian guys from the end of that game. It was a bit of a Bioware trope. That uh, you have an ancient race of, uh, of dudes who had a big empire that fell. Like in this, in Neverwinter Nights, in Mass Effect. Bit, a bit of a Bioware staple, that, uh, that trope. Comics were written afterwards, you just happened to read them before. Oh, okay. I, I, I want to get my hands on the Tales of the Jedi comics, because I've seen, like, little bits of them before. Um, and playing through this has got me really kind of in, in the mood for some Old Republic shenanigans again, so... I kind of want to try and track down some copies of, of those and, and, and read through them, because they look like they're probably quite entertaining. Tales of the Jedi Tax Collector. <laughs> Is it fantasy if they don't have some ancient precursor race? I mean... Lord, Lord, of, the, Lord of the Rings doesn't, doesn't have an ancient precursor race, so... Um, I'm just throwing that out there. I'm ah, back at the start, okay. Oh, for goodness sake, they've gotten stuck again. Jolie! Where are you, old man? Come on, keep up. <laughs> Does that make Halo a fantasy story? <laughs> Question. <laughs> well, I don't know, same case for Mass Effect, right? Oh, look, the Rancors have respawned. Those little devils. Let's go and get, get him. Have at the rancor! <laughs> Jolie's just fucking standing there. Okay, there we go. Oh my god, I just noticed we've all leveled up. Alright, attributes. This might, I think this might be my last level up of the game. Potentially. Which means that mechanically there's probably no further reason for me to really be doing side quests. But um, I'll probably do some anyway. Uh, yes, yeah, so I think this is max level, isn't it? So what do I want to take as my final... It doesn't matter, does it really, at this point? I'm not going to get a, a modifier bonus for any of these. So officially it doesn't matter. Keep in mind that you get a plus five from Valor. Yeah, that's true. Actually, good point. For the physical attributes, anyway. Um, a plus five from Valor. So that would... If I went strength 15, that would get me up to strength 20. When's Where, where, are, the, where are the modifier brackets that high up? Because you get to 18. Sixteen, seventeen. I think eighteen will get you a plus four. Nineteen, does twenty get you a plus five, or does is it twenty one that gets you the next bracket? Twenty is for plus, for plus five. Okay. So if I increase that, that would get me to dexterity twenty two. Would that get me plus six? Would that get my dex to plus six? Because if that's if so, I'd really like that. That'd be really nice. It does. Okay, cool. Yeah, all right then. I'll take that then. So that when we're fu full, when fully buffed with with valor, we'll get plus six dex, which will be really good for our defense, I think, but also our hit chance with less sabers. To be fair. 
You also have a pair of gloves that give you plus three extra decks. Oh, you should, oh shit. Okay, right. So, <laughs> we'll be decks 25 then. At this point, does it really fucking matter? Probably not. I'll just go with that. Um... Skills. Uh, I guess I could take the, the, my final rank of persuade and an extra bit of treat injury. Uh, feats. Master force focus and master sense. Nice. I think... Did I have a plan for what I was going to spend my last feat on? I don't remember. I know what I was going to spend my last power on. Master force focus. Plus four to difficulty class for all saving throws against character's force powers. Master sense. Plus six defense. It's always active. Okay, it replaces night sense. I could take weapon focus lightsaber, I suppose, just to get that stack that one extra little plus one on top. Or I could finally take a rank of toughness, which would give me. An extra 20 hit points. I don't know. I can't remember how many hit points I have total, actually. I don't know whether or not that's even bo worth bothering with. Um, would I prefer an extra 20 hit points or a pl an additional plus one attack bonus with my lightsaber? Considering I'm going to be striking at, like... At the very least, probably, you know, if fully buffed up, or at the very least, I'm going to be striking with plus seven to my attack roll. Does making it plus eight really matter? Because I'm pretty sure I probably get also get an attack bonus from my lightsaber crystals as well, so... I tell you what, by not taking toughness over the course of this playthrough, I've really cheated myself out of quite a lot of uh, of bonus hit points. But never mind. I'll take the plus 20 HP. It might save me one extra hit from dying at some point. You know, give me one extra round to reach for the life support pack before I have to call it. So I'm going to take it. And then final power, Django says, okay, before you choose your final power, you need to answer a question. Do you want to make the final boss fight easier on yourself? <laughs> uh, I guess. I think my original plan was to take force immunity, but if you've got a better idea. Considering the circumstances, drain life? Really? Basic bitch drain life. Okay. Alright, fine. Okay. Worn Pardo finally has an offensive force power. Thought I'd never see the day. Oh god, I gotta level up these guys as well, I almost forgot. <laughs> Alright. Surely. Um What was I gonna give you? I think the next rank of flurry, wasn't it? Yeah. Powers. Force armor. Yeah, force armor. And Candorous. No! No, do not auto-level up. My god, what a misclick. Uh, Street Injury. Feats. Has he got anything left worth taking? Candorous, my man. You can take implant level 2, I suppose. 
I suppose. <coughs> there seems to be almost nothing else. Yeah, I guess we'll take him plant level two. Fuck it. There you go. I don't know if there's anything I can equip him with that would be good. Oh, I need level three for the cardio power system. Ripperino in Pepperinos. One level up short of being able to do it, yes. my friend. You still playing Gamma? Yeah, we're going to come back and do some more Gamma next week. Don't you worry. In fact, I might just end up playing more Gamma while we're on, we're on a break from KOTOR, actually. Between now and KOTOR 2. I might just keep, carry on playing Call of Duty and Gamma for a while. A lot of first-person shooter gameplay there to be had. Uh, perhaps I should consider throwing something else in the mix, something nice and short, that is not in the first-person shooter category. But I haven't got any ideas just yet. I'm going to use Drain Life! Celebratory Drain Life just for giggles. And they th saved. <laughs> All right. Uh, stasis field. Yes. Well, that'll show you. Euro truck, nice and relaxing. Not impossible, but the problem with Euro truck is that I refuse to play it unmodded and. Getting your truck modded and all set up is 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 quite a bore. Like that is that you're you're investing at least a couple of hours of your afternoon in 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 that. And also, rather crucially, I don't have a controller right now. I've lost my 360 controller uh, cable, and I can't remember what I did with it and it kind of means I can't really play games that require controllers right now. Does your intro get a lot of views? It does okay. It's distinctly mid-tier as, as view counts go. It does better than you'd think, but it's not, you know, it ain't going to compete with, like, the Elder Scrolls or... Or any Bethesda thing. Like in terms of views, like you've got right at the top, you've got the S tier stuff, which is like Skyrim, Oblivion, Morrowind, Fallout. That's S tier, that's at the top in terms of view count. Then below that, you've got like A tier, which is like Knights of the Old Republic, Dragon Age, kind of Bioware stuff. Um, then you got B tier below that, and B tier is kind of like uh, Stalker, Gothic, um, maybe Deus Ex. I I I would I would imagine Deus Ex is probably a B tier view count game. And you got C tier below that, and C tier is where like it starts to get a bit ropey. And I I'd, I'd say Euro Truck is quite is is a lot of the time it's it's a B tier. Um, sometimes C tier. Call of Duty, for example, is a C tier game. Like, it's okay for me to stream it, but I can't solely rely on Call of Duty streams to pay the bills. <laughs> Let's put it that way. And there's Baldur's Gate tier, where no attempt was attracted to a, no, where no attempt has attracted enough numbers. Yeah, unfortunately, Baldur's Gate is D tier. Uh, tragically. Baldur's Gate is in the tier where you're probably not going to finish the series because the view count drops off at the end. We have seen you in Daloba. You are a servant of the Elders. By order of the One, you must die. Well, you made that simple for me, didn't you? I was going to be all like, let's negotiate, but... Should be a concussion grenade. Uh, who needs concussion grenades when you've got stasis field, eh? Candorous, you just go ham, egg, and cheese with your swords. I won polo! Shall I do some Master Valor? Yes. Followed by some Master Speed. You're dead. 
Here it is. I see. Uh, got it. That'll show you. This. Julie, would you like to provide us with some healing? What? Oof, Candace is taking a beating, isn't he? My god. Yeah. Yeah, down he, down he goes. Oh crap. See, I thought for a minute there we were doing quite well, but apparently not. Alright, yeah, alright, never mind. That's a tougher fight than it looks like it's going to be. Possible, very possible to get hundreds of viewers BG1 and BG2, but arguably most aren't interested in Dave's style. Yeah, I know what you mean, actually. Yeah, there's a certain kind of style of Baldur's Gate stream out there where most of it is focused on doing runs of the game with specific builds and stuff. It's very Dark Souls-y, actually. It's, it reminds me of watching Dark Souls and Elden Ring streams, where people are like, I'm... There's no consideration really giving to just experiencing the story of the game. It's all about like, what can I do with this build? Challenge run, go. There's that, you, there's that kind of, of, of approach to streaming RPGs, and that seems to do all right with Baldur's Gate, but that's not my, that's not how I do things. Even with Morrowind, which is probably the only RPG I, I know well enough to be able to do that with, I, I tend, tend not to do that with. Also, I've gone the wrong way. Or have I? No, no, I haven't. We're, we're on the right track. We're, we're good. We're good. It's fine. Ooh, yeah, Total War. Total War is, um... Hmm, how, where do we rank Total War on the, on the view? Scale. I think B+. Plus. Total War is definitely B+. Plus. It does depend a little bit on which Total War game, but yeah. All right, you dickheads. Sure. Okay, let's try this again. He's got a melee shield, yeah, let's activate that. Yes. Yeah. Master Valor. Master Speed. Yeah. After speed for me as well. And let's have a little bit of stasis field. And a bit more stasis field. And a bit more stasis field. That hurt, I bet. There we go. <laughs> what? Yeah. That'll show you. Perhaps my problem last time was simply that I did not apply enough stasis field to the problem. No, don't drain life. Jesus Christ. I noticed that most of our buffs have already worn off. That's alright, we're good now. The buff, the buff, buff force powers need a longer timer on them in this game. It would not surprise me at all. In fact, if in Kotor 2 they they do have a longer timer. Uh, we'll need a gun. This guy had a name. All right then. Time to massacre an entire tribe of people. A KOTOR staple at this point. Alright, Jolie. You know what to do, man. Yeah. 
I still got it. <laughs> Sounds like me when I get out of bed in the morning with a bad back. <laughs> When I sit down on the sofa after a long day. That's <laughs> your entire tribe is the Jedi way. Even the corpses pay Jedi tax, indeed. Oh, I've already looted this stuff, haven't I? Last time I was in here. All right, you were just going room to room and murdering you all. That'll show you. Yeah, I can safely assume I think that all of these wicker bins have been looted. Yes, indeed. Okay, right, ignore those from now on. This is Warren Pilot going through his Anakin phase, murdering an entire settlement of Rakata. I mean, like, and and without and without gaining any dark side points to boot, you know, you can murder all of the Sand People and all of these Rakata in this game without gaining any dark side points. It's amazing. That'll show you. Oh, Jolie's keen, isn't he? Look at him go. That'll show you. Do any of these Ricardo have loot? Doesn't look like it. That'll show you. They did attack you first. Yeah, I mean they they did. Uh, you know, that's Bioware basically That'll giving you a moral out, isn't it, in this scenario? We'll, we'll make it so that the Ricarta attack the player without any choice. Um, so that you can feel all, like, morally justified about it, but still. Even the even the elders, like, it's kind of funny when, when, you, when you compare it to what the elders literally just said to us about how we could kill all the Ricarta, but we'd just be jack, jackasses and jerks if we did that. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like, we have within our power to just mur murder them all, but we're not going to because that would be the wrong thing to do. Um, even though they would attack us on site if we went to see them, they do frequently do this. Technically, it would be self-defense, but we're not going to do it because it'd be morally wrong. Th what does the player then proceed to do? Do exactly that, just murder them all in self-defense. <laughs> It's like we learned nothing from that conversation. Uh. Has Revan really changed then? It'd be funny, Dr. Fat, if that was like a test. Like, we go here, we kill all of these guys, and then we come back and be like, Hey, I did the job! I killed them all! Hooray for me! And then the, then the elders turn around and say, like, this is exactly what we thought would happen. You haven't changed at all, dude. Um, but the game's not... The story is not honestly clever enough for that, I, I guess. The Black Ricarta shall never something something. Let me pull my Bond villain lever. Alright, here's the question. Do we focus on the Rancors and the Mooks first, or do we focus on the one? I'm 
not honestly sure. Let's find out. Use your melee shield again, Cadmus. Julie? Wait, I need you to stasis field these guys. I'm gonna master speed. What? Candorous, you just you just smash. Candorous smash. Uh Jolie, your stasis field basically just did not work at all, mate. Yeah. Yeah. That's better. Now we're getting some <laughs> the one's been stasis, brilliant. Yes. What if we kill everything except him? Because I know the guy wants the wants the one to be alive, right? Is he gonna give us a ch no? Okay, Candorus was just like, no, fuck that! I'm killing yes. him. <laughs> Never mind. Typical Mandalorian. I don't I don't think there was a way out of that, honestly. Like it it if they really wanted to give us an opportunity to capture him alive, it would have done the thing where it gets him down to one HP and then trigger the conversation. You know, like what happened with Euthura. Um and that did not happen, so you, you have saved me from the savages and their war beasts. Uh my name's Luke Skywalker, I'm here to rescue you. I don't know what I would have, could have done if you had not come. I suppose I would be dead now, now, like the others they captured with me. Thank you for saving me. I shall attempt to return to the Enclave on my own. I will tell the Council of what you've done. Feels like a quest that got axed for time. Yeah, maybe. Unless there's some sort of um, convenient little um, item of loot we can pick up, potentially. But I, I already looted him, and it, it had no, he had nothing but like, like a grenade and a couple of swords on him and a health pack, so... Pulling the lever again doesn't do anything. Right, it looks like we're pretty much done here. Uh, okay. Just the one long walk of shame now. Which I'm now realizing and remembering I can speed up significantly if I just use this. <laughs> We shall leave the corpses with their shiny dirt floors, yes. The walk of shame as you enjoy the OST and the ambient sound effects, indeed. Now it's just the ghosts of the Rakata we can hear talking in the background. Halfway done with the unknown world, at least, already. Nice. This environment is really cool looking. Yes, I agree. It's, um... The visual design of, of the unknown world is, is quite... Is quite good. It's quite excellent. They pulled out all the stops in the visual design department on this. That's for damn sure. Even the temple looks pretty darn good. Potential thumbnail material there, actually.
Oh, these rancors have respawned again. More XP that is now useless to us because we're max level. Vivan, you are back. Our scout has told us of how you rescued him. His injuries are severe, but he somehow managed to get back here faster than you, even though you were using force speed. Impressive, no? We believe he will survive. We are grateful for what you have done. I've done my part. Now you have to honor our agreement. Risking your own life to save our scout seems to prove that you have changed significantly since the last time you were here, but you have deceived us before. We must discuss this in greater detail. We must have some privacy, Reven. We will return when our deliberations are done. Look at the way they boogie. I love it. <laughs> the Rakat and Strut. And they're back, everybody! Revan, you have rescued a member of our tribe from the one at great personal risk to yourself. We believe this action shows you have truly changed since your last visit here. I am so very unsurprised. I wonder if this was maybe originally planned to be a more detailed sequence where they judged your actions, and by actions I mean a whole bunch of different things that happened on the planet, and maybe before as well. Uh, blah blah blah, many generations sought way to enter the temple to destroy the Star Forge. Only those who can command the force, those like you, can enter the Temple of the Ancients. We no longer have that power. That was why we helped you the last time you were here. But you cannot leave the temple without our help, Revan. En enter the temple, rather. Only the ancient rituals of our people can lower the shield for you to enter. You need as us as much as we need you, Revan. Looks like we'll be working together, then. For our own sake and that of the entire galaxy, we hope you truly mean to atone for your past evils. When you are ready, Revan, we will take you to the temple. But the temple is a place of sacred power. If you are to enter, you must do so alone, in the tradition followed by our Rakata ancestors for the past thousand generations. Uh -oh. I can't go in without Jolie and Candorus? Are you mad? I'll be killed in an instant. Why do I have to go in alone? When you were last here, we broke the ancient tradition. We allowed you and your apprentice to enter the temple together, and it brought untold suffering upon the galaxy. We believe you, if you truly wish to destroy the Star... Whoa, no, okay. We believe you truly wish to destroy the Star Force this time, but the lesson of the past is not easily forgotten. We will not defile the sacred ritual a second time. Only you may enter. When I'm ready, I will go to the temple alone, then. Then it is done. You have only to let us know when you are ready to enter the temple. Okay, I'll enter the temple now. The time has come for you to atone for your past crimes, Revan, but the task ahead will be difficult. Those you call the Dark Jedi, followers of your old apprentice, now dwell within the temple. There's Dark Jedi inside the temple? How did they get in there? The last time you and Malak entered the temple, you must have found the controls to raise and lower the shields. Those inside can lower the barrier to allow other Force users to enter and exit the temple. They will not be able to prevent us from using the ritual to gain you access. Once inside, however, we can do nothing to help you. Go to the temple now. We will meet you there once the ritual has been prepared. Remember, in accordance with ancient Ricardo tradition, you must enter the temple alone. Harumph, says I. Harumph. Harumph! All right, very well. Uh, let me guess, have the rankers respawned again? Um, no. Okay. This planet feels like a victim of development time. Yeah, a little bit.
really, game. There was a whole planet that was a victim of development time in this game. Yeah, yeah. It's the one that your theory is from. Which does really make me wonder if Yathura maybe at some point was meant to be a uh, party member. She gets a weirdly large amount of character development. Slaheron, yeah, that was it, thanks. The ancient traditions state that you must enter the temple alone. I will not perform the ritual if there are others with you. Alright. Guys, I bid you farewell for now. I will begin the ritual. It will take many hours, but when it is complete, you must be ready. The shield will not stay down for long. Prepare yourself. Chanting. Wait, someone is coming. Wait, you can't go in there alone. What are you doing here? I just told you to leave! We have had a, a premonition. The Force has given us a vision. It's convenient. There is great danger within the temple. We cannot let you face it alone. You might be walking into a trap. Maybe Malak himself is waiting inside. Even if he isn't, that temple will be crawling with dark Jedi. You'll need all the help you can get. No other can go with you into the temple. You must enter alone. That is the way of the ancient ritual. <laughs> Uh, I forgot. I don't remember this being a thing from the last time I played the game. It was a very long time ago. Uh, I'm not going alo in alone after all. Lower the shields. No, you must enter the temple alone. I will not lower the shields. I don't know what he said, but it sounds like your guide's being stubborn. We don't have time for this. The Republic fleet is on the way, and we're stuck on this planet until we deactivate that disruptor field. You have to convince him to get us inside that temple. <laughs> Sorry, I just saw someone in the chat. We've had a vision from the Force that said, Gloopod Wonky. <laughs> what does it mean, Revan? <laughs> what does it mean? <laughs> oh, Gloopod Wonky. Um... Okay, we'll try Persuade. I, my Persuade, like, fucking... I have, like, 23 Persuade. You should... You think... That if this doesn't work, it's because I'm being railroaded. I can't destroy the Star Forge alone. They must come with me into the temple. I... I believe you. The Elders have said you wish to destroy the Star Forge and the terrible legacy of our ancestors. If you wish... If you need help to do this, I will not stand in your way. I will resume the ritual now. Why do I get the feeling this is going to take a while? Still, we better stay ready. As soon as those shields go down, we have to get inside the temple. In we go. Okay. Lord Malak, the preparations are nearly complete. Every day the Star Forge adds more ships to our fleet. It is operating at nearly 300% of our projections. The fleet is assembling around the Star Forge and awaits your instructions. Patience, Commander. My new apprentice is nearly ready. Once Bastula joins her battle meditation to our enormous fleet, we shall be invincible. Then we shall begin our final conquest of the Core Worlds, and the Republic will be crushed forever. As you wish, Lord Malak. Is it ever explained how Malak lost half his face? I don't recall it ever being brought up in the game. 
Um, and yeah, oh my god, we have so many level ups to do now with Jahani, and her lightsaber is also a piece of shit compared to ours. Oh no. What is it? Oh no, Jahani, you were the worst possible choice of a party member here. Can you? Can we not send you back out to go grab Candorus? You have a workbench in the temple, it's okay. Oh really? Oh well, that's not so bad then. Okay. Still, oh my god. Oh my god, guys. Pat. Okay, well we have a weird rare opportunity right now to spec out Juhani as a Jedi character, like, over the course of a lot of levels. The question is, how do we want to do it? Any suggestions, Django? How should, how should we spec Juhani? Based on the number of levels we've got available remaining in the force power she's got at the moment. What's the best, what's the best play here? She is a guardian, right, yeah. So... Offensive powers won't be great. Oh, okay. It's kind of a shame that actually. I would have been it would have been kind of fun to spec her out with like maximum force lightning or something. But yeah, you're right, like it'll be relying on our wisdom and charisma modifiers, which presumably aren't very good. And no inherent bonus either, because she's she's not a consular. Alright, well I guess it's just boring old buffs then, isn't it? It's kind of a shame. She also starts with the wrong amount of strength for a guardian, in your opinion. Hmm. I mean, you eh, its you don't necessarily need strength as a guardian, like, because you've got lightsaber finesse, right? So you, you really just need dex for your hit chance, although it will, it will gimp your damage output a little bit if you've got low strength. All right, well, uh... I mean, we're just doubling up on powers like the other guys already have, um, but fine. Um, Valor. Attributes. Uh, dex. I guess. Yeah, let's just max out her dex. I suppose. I don't even have any cool items for her to wear. I mean, I'm actually, I might have some, some lying around in the inventory screen. We'll check in a bit, but... Master Force Jump, Master Sense. Is it... Yeah, it's probably definitely too late to try and switch her to two-weapon fighting. Uh, so forget that. We'll just go Master Dueling. Heal. Skills, boop, boop. Feats. Does she have, like, flurry or anything? Oh my god, no, she doesn't. Right, okay, we're gonna work on flurry then. Powers. Force armor. Accept. Boop, boop. Powers. Uh, Knight Valor. Skills, boop, boop. Feats. Uh, improve flurry powers master speed attributes strength uh, dexterity to 18 skills boop boop powers master valor um level up skills boop boop powers force resistance maybe Yep, force resistance. Accept level up skills. Boop, boop. Feats. Master flurry. Powers. Force immunity. Or just status field for absolute giggles. Uh, there we go. Alright, Juhani is now level 18. Yes? <laughs> what level is is is, is, is jo jo Lee right now? He's level eighteen as well. How come I'm level twenty and they're only eighteen? Yes. What? Whatever. Um. 
Right. What is it? Johanny. Medium blue sure. lightsaber, which yeah, is a different shade of blue to this. Just to be, just just wanted to double check that. Um, well, I've I've done what I can with you. Uh, well, actually, hold on a second. There's probably some gear she can wear that's better as well. Uh, let's see. She's got a Jedi Knight robe at the moment. I do happen to have a spare Jedi Master robe. have an Arcanian energy shield and a Mando power shield. What's that like? Ooh, sure. Yeah, I have a power shield. Um, well, these are all a bit wank. I guess you could have that for reflex saves, I guess. Whatever. Bradgick's gloves she's wearing at the moment. Or I could switch to strength gauntlets. Ugh, no. Also rubbish. Candorous is wearing a lot of the good stuff. Why the cyan and orange? Uh, because ridiculous stat buffs. That's why. Yes. Uh, I got the special unique lightsaber crystals from Yavin um, in the previous stream. And unfortunately, if you want to use the amazing stat buffing god tier lightsaber crystals from Yavin, you have to put up with your lightsaber being a different colour. If it were up to me, I'd still be using green, trust me. You like red lightsabers? Try I try to reclaim them as a valid option for light side characters. No! You can't do that. Red is equals baddies. This was this has been established since the very first Star Wars movie. You can't go around having a red lightsaber as one of the good guys. It's just wrong. I don't know. Republic. <laughs> right, let's take advantage of the fact that Jahani can now do some of the powers that we also have. Although Force Valor is the only one that actually applies to the whole party, so fucking ignore me. Um, have you guys pop speed? What you wish? Need? Now you get it. Now you get it. I'm now I'm now popping speed right at the end of the fight. Seems smart to me. Of grenade. Oh, useless loot. But even the Sith, especially the Sith, must pay the Jedi tax, so. For the longest time, red sabers were fine. I don't care about any of your expanded universe lore bullshit, sir. Red sabers equals baddies. Okay. I don't care what the law has to say about it. Red lightsabers equals baddies. In every piece of Star Wars media that is not some obscure goddamn comic, red lightsabers equals baddies, alright? <laughs> Ah. I've played Dark Forces 2. Actually, as a matter of fact, no. I haven't, and um, I don't care. Dark Forces 2 officially counts as, as obscure as far as I'm concerned. Uh-huh. 
wonder if there's a way somewhere to switch these off that I've not found. I check this. Yes, I apparently did. Oh, hello. Uh, Mr. Sentry Droid. <laughs> yeah, I know those turrets were making very weird noises there. A lot of lot of enemies in this game with peculiar death screams. No problem. Didn't work. No problem, he says, having a problem. No matter. We shall simply lightsaber our way through to a computer. Uh -huh. Okay. What do we got? More Dark Jedi. I have 73 computer spikes. I could probably afford this. Disable the droid's shields, corrupt targeting system, or disable the prototype droids entirely for 17 spikes. I could afford the 17 spikes, technically. Is it worth it, though? I might just disable the shields for a bit less, and then we'll just murder them. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. Oops. Back, back, back. Armory, interior. Armory, exterior. Prototype droid command room. Oh, look, it's us. Smile, everybody. Overload computer power conduit and kill ourselves. Seems like a brilliant idea. Obelisk corridor. North corridor. South Corridor. Download area schematic. Nah, fuck it. We're good. Okay. Yellow lightsaber technically showed up in them. Yes, yes, I know. I, I mentioned that in a previous stream, yes. Rise of Skywalker has a yellow lightsaber in it. Considering most people would rather forget Rise of Skywalker exists, I feel like it's not a very good argument. <laughs> but that's fine, that's fine. Okay, whatever, you want to have a yellow lightsaber? You want to have an orange one? I mean, the orange one just, I think, is starting to take the mickey a little bit, but fine. Very well. Orange. Fine. But you want to have good guys with red lightsabers? No. I refuse. Je refuse. No problem. Can I get this open? Didn't work. <laughs> Damn you, box. <laughs> Sometimes they make paying the tax difficult. Yeah, I par apparently Ray Stevenson's lightsaber in Ahsoka was orange. I did not notice this. I don't know if this is because of the screen I was watching on, but it looked red to me. When he and his little sidekick had both had their lightsabers out, I was not able to d d discern a difference between the colors. They both looked red. I know, I know. He mi Dark Lord of the Sith here. Managed to miss a static box. Deadly frag mines. Guarding a rune-covered pillar. Oh boy. 
This is not going to work. Didn't work. Yeah. Um... Deadly, my ass. <laughs> we can't send in Johanny like some kind of bomb disposal drone. <laughs> uh. <laughs> I have a chartreuse lightsaber. <laughs> crystal, Sapif. Hey, we got a crystal. I don't know if it's any good. If we find this workbench, maybe we'll find out. Hello! Who dares oh. intrude on our meditations? You know the penalty for... <gasps> Revan, you are back. I was almost expecting her to segue then into a Lord Malak was most displeased to learn you had escaped Charis alive. Um... Yes, the true Sith Lord has returned. Now bow before... It's awfully tempting just for the giggles to pick that, but it'll give me fucking dark side points, won't it? I'm Revan no longer. I serve the light in the Jedi Council now. I don't serve the Jedi Council. I don't serve anybody. I suppose I, maybe I serve the Republic in some sort of uh, civic duty kind of a sense. I feel like if if if... if if one Polo feels like he, he serves anything or anyone, it probably would be the Republic at large. But the Jedi Council? Nah, dickheads. A lot of them. We're not we're not on particularly friendly terms with the council after discovering what they did to us. Um But there's no neutral option here, so I must choose. How about an Incarnadine lightsaber? How about an Octarine lightsaber? I wonder how many people will get that. Right. I'm Revan no longer. I serve the light in the Jedi Council now. Malak told us what happened to you. The Jedi Council has stripped you of your power. You are a shell of what you once were. You are not how much do you want to bet? The Sith anymore, Revan. You Darth would have gotten Malak the same response there to either option. For destroying you. How much do you want to bet? Because Bioware loves to do that in this game. But we do gain some light side points, I suppose. You cheeky sods. Oh my goodness. Hold the phone. Uh, I think I've been poisoned. You were briefly. Okay, the, we've, we've encountered a rare couple of Dark Jedi who are actually competent, ladies and gentlemen. This doesn't happen very often. Oh, look at poor Joe Lee spinning around. Got him in the end. Those two dots buffed one another with Master Valor. Does that stack? Surely it shouldn't, right? Sith Power Gauntlets, Dark Jedi Knight Robe, Lightsaber, and two Sith Energy Shields. What? <coughs> Joe Lee, this is not nap time. It does not stack, but they're the only enemies who collaborate in some way. Oh, okay. Yes. What? And you can... What is it? Spam heal everybody. Sure. Oh, his extra HP from Valor ran out. Is that what happened? Oh, gotcha. Okay. <laughs> yeah, he just had a heart attack. A poor guy made it this far and then just biology caught up with him. Oh, dear. Oh, hello. Revan, 
Lord Malak told us you still lived. At last, a challenge worthy of my skills. I grow so bored. A challenge worthy of my, my skills. Droids. I intensified my training tenfold in hopes I would get the chance to face you in mortal combat. I am glad to see my training has not been in vain. How's about a little little bit of force resistance? Is he is the Sith Master powerful enough to resist a Joe Lee stasis field? <gasps> yes. What the fuck's Juhani doing? Oh, she's having a moment. <laughs> Okay, this is just fucking cheese, my man. Yes. For the Republic. Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Ah. Note to self, when I do a dark side playthrough, get the maxed level like uh, you know drain ability because apparently it's pretty good <gasps> you know what that tech priest quote accidental tech priest quote there from dawn of war just did make did make me realize hang on a second like dawn of war could be kind of a fun in between sort of game between now and code war 2 you could play dark crusade or something throw that one up the flagpole and see who salutes didn't work here. Come on, Polo, stop missing the locker. It's embarrassing. There is a lot of guns in here, wow. like more than you could possibly need. Well, maybe some other 40k thing. Doesn't have to be Dawn of War, but it's been a while since we did anything 40k related. Okay, we've got some bits and bobs. Mostly I'm interested in seeing if there's anything worth equipping Johani with. Sith Gauntlet Strength plus three. Yeah, she can have those. I saw us pick up some kind of Verpine prototype shield. Yeah, she can use that. But that's about all yes. we're getting. All right, so let's have a look at the workbench, shall we? Lightsaber. This is Jihani's. Okay, so. Sapeth Crystal. Attack bonus 2, damage bonus energy 3. Okay, well, as ever, mostly because we have to do occasionally do solo segments, I need to kind of, um... Blast default deflection increase plus eight. Now these these effects are different because we have the mantle of the force in our lightsaber, so it changes the effects of various crystals. That seems relatively good. Sapith crystal gives you attack bonus three and uh, bonus energy damage four. We've got the Solari at the moment. Gives you 2d6 damage against Lux, d uh, against Dark Side and Light Side? No, 1d8 against Light Side. And then the K Crate Dragon Pearl, which I'm still using. Attack bonus 4, Blast of Vault, Deflection Increase plus 3. I think that I'd like to swap for the Sapith. Uh. Mm. 
Oh, excuse me, folks. Just desperately need to have a stretch there. Final liberation. Oh, mate, if I could make, if I could get Final Liberation to work and be streamable with OBS. Oh, absolutely. Oh, Final Liberation. What a game. Choose your next words with exceptional care. Oh, Commissar Holt. Oh, that, that game's begging for a goddamn remaster. It'll never happen because it's probably stuck in licensing hell. Final Liberation HD Edition. Oh, be still my beating heart. You can have the Cray Dragon Pearl. That's a decent enough saber. I'm, I'm, I might be able to optimize our, our saber loadouts even further, but 5 to 26 with attack modifier of plus 6 is pretty darn good, I think. Vroom vroom. Space Hulk, the old one? Bro, like, which Space Hulk? There's been like six different Space Hulk games at this point. Which one's the old one? Dawn of War 2 as well. Do you know what? Dawn of War 2, I barely played. That's the interesting thing about Dawn of War 2. I never really got into it, and I don't really know why either. I don't remember particularly disliking the game. I, but I only played like a couple of the first, you know, like the first couple of missions from the main campaign of the original and never t even touched the expansions. Hello! Yes. Wish? Boosh! Absolutely demolished. Dawn of War 2 is different, still plenty of fun. I remember it being it, it largely, from the bit of it I played, it, it pretty much entirely cut out the base building and it added sort of company of heroes elements to it, like with the cover system and stuff. And then you had, like, there were some RPG light elements where you could equip your, your different like squad leaders and stuff with, with different loadouts and things. The biggest thing I remember about it being is, is that you could have a... You could have a Space Marine Captain with a Heavy Bolter, and I thought that was absolutely just rad. I thought that was awesome. That was something you actually could not do on the tabletop. Uh, but I thought it was really cool. Although these days, you actually can have a Captain with a, with a, with a Heavy Weapon if you play Horus Heresy. If you play Imperial Fists in Horus Heresy, you can have a Space Marine Captain equivalent. They're not called Captains in Horus Heresy, but you can effectively have a Marine Captain with an Assault Cannon. Um, I, I I do have a very tiny and but growing collection of Imperial Fists for Horus Heresy, and you bet your ass I'm having a, a Praetor with an Assault Cannon, because just fuck yeah. Just going all, all Arnie in the term in Terminator 2 with the minigun on people. Heck yeah. Nope. 
He's very much dead. I'm taking my sweet time with this dungeon, aren't I? What's the time right now? We're already 20 past 8. We're not even close to the end. I'm beginning to wonder if we should stop and then do the end next week. Have we gone right back around to the start? We have, haven't we? At least we cleared this floor of the dungeon. Yeah, we did. Although I feel like I've missed something because the door's still shut. These ones stay closed. Oh, oh okay then. It just seemed like that was the way forward and we'd have to go press a button somewhere. Maybe I've been playing a little too much Tomb Raider. <laughs> My brain is thinking like I'm playing Tomb Raider, but I'm not. I'm playing I'm playing an RPG right now. Hello. Ah, one shot at him, wow. Anything important in here? No. Oh, are the droids now angry? Yes, they are. Right. Did I go around here earlier? I don't think I did. We came through the middle, didn't we? I do not remember this. It's another couple of droids. Hello. <laughs> you see that Jolly was almost doing a little Publius maneuver there. Here we go. This is probably where we need to be going. Yes, indeed. Temple Catacombs. Right, ladies and gentlemen. Um, honestly, I think uh, I think we're going to have to leave it realistically. Um, we'll finish next week. That's that's what we're going to do. Uh, because I think there's still enough game left to justify another stream, and it's getting late to the point where we're going to end up finishing at like ten or eleven o'clock at the rate rate we're going. Um, so. I guess the grand finale will be next week. Oops. I'll make sure it's Saturday so more people have the broadest possible opportunity of tuning in. Final location will probably take two hours. Yeah, there you go. So, right. Um, Django reckons two hours uh, for, the, for the final sort of bit. And uh, he's usually right with these things. So I'm going to save it here. We're on 22 now. Oh, dear me. No, I won't do. There we go. And, folks, we will tune in next Saturday. And next Saturday, we really will, honest to goodness, properly, for realsies, finish the game. Uh, so, that's that for now. Um, join me again on Thursday for Stalker and or Call of Duty, as we, at the very least, finish the United Offensive campaign, and then maybe move on to Call of Duty 2. It depends if people actually bother to watch. It's just, it's entirely dictated, I think, at this point by whether or not there are enough viewers. Um, and um, yeah, there'll be more stalker, and uh, and then on Saturday there will be there will be this. We'll, we'll finally get through to this, and um, yeah, I will I will think about some of these 
40k video game ideas because playing through one of those could be quite fun after we finish this. I have to admit, now I've remembered it, Dawn of War 2 is kind of front runner right now. I think I'd really quite like to get into that and um, finally see what all the fuss is about because I know a lot of people really like Dawn of War 2 and I, for whatever reason, never really got around to giving it a fair shake of the stick. So, yeah, that might be what we do unless I can think of something better. So, right, ladies and gents, we're good, we're done. Back to the main menu. There it is. Let Lord Malik stare impotently at us for the penultimate time. As I bid you all a good night. Uh, cheers, my dears. That's it. Show's over. Glad you're all still here. Go. Go on home. To quote Ferris Bueller. Cheers. See ya.